I'm going to create a quick video to show you how to reinforce the grommets on uh, the, the tarp or the canopy cover for the Monarch canopy created by Shelter Logic. So here's the canopy here. Um, and one of the biggest complaints on Amazon is, uh, and other websites that sell this online is that these grommets uh, pull out. They pull through the tarp. The tarp rips over time, um, even just after a couple months usage. So I'm going to create this video to show you how to how to reinforce these on this canopy cover, or really on on any tarp for that matter. So you can do this project with really only two things. Uh, you need some uh, gorilla tape, which you can get at Home Depot. Um, it's the tough and wide uh, version. I think this stuff is about one and three quarter inches. Sorry, now two and a little bit more than two and three quarter inches wide. Um, and uh, they sell a roll of, of 30 yards for 15 bucks. Uh, it's expensive tape, but um, it's good stuff. This is uh, probably the stickiest and, and thickest, most durable tape I've ever used. Um, now, optional tools for this job are basically a hammer and a grommet kit. Um, I went and bought this grommet kit specifically for this job, but I, I had it from a previous uh, job that I did. So uh, if you do have one, um, that's great. If you don't, then um, you know either ignore uh, this part of the tutorial or, or pick one up. You can also get those at Home Depot. They're pretty reasonable. So this might be a bit hard to show, but um, uh, what I did is I just created uh, a little template um, to help me cut the tape. Uh, basically, this is just seven inches long. I'm going to cut pieces of tape exactly this length, and then I'm going to put them on the tarp here. Uh, so this is seven inches long. Um, it's the width of the tape. Um, and then I, I cut a, a fillet on um, two of the corners just to make it look a little bit better. That, that part's not necessary, but it does kind of add to the, the appearance. So all I'm going to do here is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this. Um, let's see, it's pretty hard with uh, two hands. But I'm just going to lay my template on top of the tape here. See, I have it on the tape on the non-sticky side, uh, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and cut the tape to length, and then I'm gonna cut these uh, corner fillets. Um, and when you when you're doing this, just try not to touch the tape uh, um, as much as possible on the sticky side. Okay, so I've now cut two pieces of tape equal length, with both of them having the corner fillets on them, and I'm about to apply them to the tarp. But first, I'm gonna show you. Uh, the optional step of tightening up those grommets. Okay, so if you look at these grommets, you can see that this one side kind of spins, um, and they're they're very loose, uh, and that's uh, it's not a good thing because the the grommets are designed to actually hold onto the material, so they grip it uh, around via friction. Okay, so what you can do, if you're doing this inside, you want to put something underneath so you don't damage the floor. Uh, these are half-inch grommets, so you just use um, uh, the cup side and put it on the, the round side of the grommet here. You can kind of tell because it fits on it. Um, and then you just take this anvil here, um, place it in the opposite side, and use a hammer. And just kind of tap it down to get it nice and tight and then you can twist the anvil out and then just make sure uh, that it's tight and you can see here the underside the lip of the grommet from the back side kind of kind of um, push down and form bore into this uh, this top side and what that does is it tightens it up so that when you pull on this grommet uh, it's it's basically compressed around the fabric in the tarp and it uses friction force to distribute that tension uh, that it's putting into the tarp into a larger uh, area. Whereas if you have just a hole in the tarp and a loose grommet, then all of that force, that tension that's coming from your bungees is going to be pulling directly against that smaller diameter hole. So um, in order to have good grommets, they should be uh, they should be fastened down securely. You don't want them to spin in, in place like, like these originally were. Okay, so now that I have the grommets tightened, and I have my tape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to put uh, the grommet about in the center of the tape here. Um, and then I'm going to offset the tape 
uh, from the edge, uh, just just over half an inch. And starting with the grommet, I'm going to push the tape down around it. I want to get contact with the metal on the grommet. And then I'm going to kind of move out from the edge of the tarp first. And really push that tape down to get adhesion with the tarp. And I'm going to have that and I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to kind of roll the tape around the edge of the tarp. Okay, that video got interrupted, but um, I'm going to roll it around the other side of the tarp here. And try and get it really secure on the edge and then on the grommet, on the metal of the grommet. And then the rest of it. Then I'm going to take my other piece of tape. You'll need two pieces of tape for each grommet. So it's, it's a lot of tape to cut. And you can kind of see the, the tape through the... Uh, through the tarps, so you can just line it up the best that you can, so you get the same overlap on this side. And essentially do, do the same thing, but I'm going to start with the opposite side here. I'm going to start on the fabric side of the tarp and work my way up to the grommet. It probably doesn't matter. And work it into the edge. Fold it around nice and tight up against the grommet, onto the grommet, and then just kind of spread it out. And this tape is really strong and thick, and you end up with uh, a reinforced area here all around the grommet. Um, and I'm going to show you later how to how to cut out these holes. Okay, so uh, all the sides are done. I'm going to do the corners now. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I just cut two pieces of the same tape, um, six inches in length uh, for each of them. And I'm going to put the first on, just put it a little bit more than halfway. So the, the longer side is kind of out off the tarp, just a little bit more than halfway. I'm going to try and cover all of it here as much as possible. Once again, I'm going to start with the, the grommet. I'm going to work my way into the edges. Then I'm going to work my way out. And just press it on there really good. And then flip it over. And I'm just going to fold this over. And try and get it straight. Piece of tape. I'm gonna do the same side, but this up here. It's not perfect, but close enough, and it's going to provide a lot of extra support around the corner of this thing. Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to uh, cut the holes out in these grommets. So the first option is just to take a utility knife and kind of go around.
and cut it out. Being careful not to cut the tarp, of course. And then do this for both sides. You want to cut a circle um, rather than say, you know, just an X, because if you cut an X, then um, you can have stress concentration at the edges of the X and it's more likely to tear there. So you definitely want a circle, but um, I'm going to show you the easier way of, of doing this. Let me show the torch here. So I just have a simple propane torch here. And then I have um, a hole punch. It comes with the grommet set. Uh, or, I mean, you can use anything really. But you just heat it up. So it's nice and hot. So it starts to smoke or it turns red. Now you can just come over your grommet. And you can just press it down right through the tape all the way through. It goes through both sides. Heat it up again. Just make sure you get it in the grommet hole and not the part. Oh, this corner one. Just press it right down on it. And it goes straight through. And that creates really nice holes that are kind of sealed. The plastic in the, in the tape melts. Um, and just kind of uh, seals it and then when it's, you know, as it's drying if you want, you can kind of mash it down into the, into the grommet and get a good seal there. Okay.